to another video. In this video we are working on our plaster board here and we are gonna plaster all the seams, the screws and all around the window. So we're gonna make it all nice and flush in this video but also we want to give you an update. It's been nearly two months since we did this wall and a lot of you suggested and were worried and it is a big problem with condensation but these are lime walls so they have actual lime mortar in them. So we're going to have a look behind this and I've been checking this pretty frequently and we had minus 25 degrees which is the worst case scenario pretty much and these walls as you can tell is bone dry the wood here would be all wet if there was condensation creating if you touch this wall it's really cold and nice but there's not a single bit of condensation on the wall and the lime walls if you research about lime plus lime, not lime plus lime mortar brick walls they actually absorb the moisture in winter and give it back in summer this is kind of their natural way so if you actually block the walls and make them fully sealed with plastic or something unnatural it's actually going to create uh, it's actually going to damage the lime since it cannot produce its natural cycle of giving off the moisture concrete doesn't absorb moisture and it actually prevents moisture from being traveling through um, not to a full degree, it still lets it through, you don't get it waterproof fully but it doesn't ventilate the same way lime does so in that case we don't have a moisture problem and I saw a lot of people in Latvia were commenting that they don't have a problem after 15 years of having it it's one of the warmest, driest room in the house and one more thing, people were questioning why we're putting it the other way around because the blue is supposed to be on the outside but the blue one is for bathrooms and rooms that will have a lot of water and moisture and we're putting it that way because the moisture will most likely come from the outside not from the inside in case there is condensation it will not grow mold uh, this one here will grow mold and this side will not grow mold that's what it's pretty much for it's not like it's waterproof like you can have a pressure washer against it or wa wash it it's uh, more about moisture and uh, things growing on it mold creating and things like that so we're putting it on towards outside and this is like normal plaster board so we can put plaster on top of it and paint it and it will be perfectly fine for our use here this will be a perfectly dry room without any water and moisture so yeah let's attach this back on and get started with the plastering present. <laughs> it doesn't shake. <laughs> okay. Let's hope it hasn't gone bad. <laughs> Looks good. Wow! I thought it was ice. Put a little protective layer. <laughs> uh, I need the trash bag. I guess we don't need that. I would hope so not. I literally got scared that it was a frost. Yes, yeah, so I was like, what is this crystal? I literally. It we looks good. Need to mix that in probably, right? Uh, yeah, but not with that tiny tool, right? I don't know. Because it needs to go all the way down. Yeah, this requires mixing. 
That probably means it will splash, right? Um, we should not. We should probably just to be careful put another plot like. Oh, we can go in the corner. Yeah. How do you clean that now? So as you can see we are all done and uh, it looks pretty rough now but once we sandpaper it and uh, paint it we also have to see if we sandpaper it if there's some deep spots we still have to fill those in. So this might be a few day process but the rest of the wall is pretty simple it's just this thing we need to kind of perfect perfection it. So we're gonna end it here because this will take uh, quite a while to dry and then we're gonna get on with the next video it's gonna be sandpapering and painting straight away. So it's gonna be all done. We didn't do that corner there. That's uh, gonna get a wood in the corner. Then gonna be a wood on the bottom top. We're not gonna put any beautiful wood. 
because first of all we have to do the ceiling and then we're gonna make it all nice and flush but yeah that's pretty much it hope you enjoy we're gonna see you next time bye bye that was pretty fast how fast did we do it um two hours together with taping <laughs>